Guys, Rich here at the Collector Car Gallery. We're looking at this 1970 Pontiac Executive 400. Uh, it's a sedan, uh, original miles on the car are 4,683 original miles. Uh, it definitely plays with how the car looks uh, and, is, and uh, presents itself. The, uh, the car was purchased by a, uh, a collector here in our area and it just doesn't fit in his collection anymore and, and he's, it's time for it to go. So um, we're doing a walk around video for a potential online buyer because our pictures were not quite representative of the car just because we couldn't really get it out of the building and stuff. So um, 4,683 original miles in this Pontiac Executive 400, finished in Bermuda blue. Uh, and we're just going to do like we do all of our videos, just going to do a walk around and, uh, I will do the same thing that anybody would do if they were buying the car from me. I, I'm going to try to, you know, disprove that this car has these kind of miles. So we're going to be looking for paint work, things like that. <clears throat> I don't think we're going to find it. I've crawled all over the car, but, um, we'll, uh, We'll dig into it here. Just like all of our videos, we're starting right here at the driver's side front bumper. Uh, this looks to be like the original chrome. You can see a little bit of blistering on the chrome in just a few areas right here. Okay. Now, keep in mind, guys, we're talking about we're, we're talking about a car that's not had anything done to it. It's never been touched. So, a little bit of blistering on the chrome. You can kind of see right here. Let me stand up. You know, I'm arms I'm arms reach away from the car right now. And uh, you can see that upon really close examination, you see it's starting to blister just a little. That's okay. Uh, as we look at the fit of the hood, looks very nice. This what a what a really what a cool <laughs> centerpiece here. Uh, chrome on the center of the grill here looks great. No blistering, no bubbling here at all. This looks very very nice. Yeah, this looks really good. Fit of the hood looks good. Got one little small stone chip right here. Again, it's quite unnoticeable until you really get in here and look at it. Um, what we do find on the paint surface, and this is really, really common with a, a an original mile car like this, a car that's never had anything done to it. I mean, keep in mind, folks, this car's probably not been not been washed more than a handful of times. So there's a few small spots where you can see. What this car really needs is a polish. I think with a polish, all this stuff would, a few of these little spots would come out and it's just kind of a age spot. I think the car really needs like a, a, a really good polish by a professional, uh, not, you know, somebody that definitely knows what they're doing. So they're not going to, um, damage the, the car in any way, but somebody to just kind of take off any of the oxidation that's on the paint and just, um, and just give it a kind of a fresh look again. Uh, I got one little stone chip right here. Kind of see how big that is. So quite small. You know, tires. I'm guessing those could be the original tires on the for for the car. Um, as we look down the side of the car, we're looking for any damage we see. Um, looks like we got a little bit of paint chipping right here down real low let's see fit of the door looks great got a real little minor little blister right here on the a post this is an unrestored car also though keep in mind everybody this is car is completely unrestored um, let's see here as we look at the, so here's, here's a kind of a little nasty scratch right here that I told one of the potential online buyers about kind of a nasty little scratch right there. A couple little, little scuffs right here, a little stone chip that's been touched up, touch up, touch up. Oh, this thing is up against the wall, huh? Same thing up here. This car needs just a, a good kind of um, uniform polish to knock this down a little bit. Got one little chip of paint off right here and right here. A 
Roof looks good. Let's head over to the other side real quick. We'll go over these before we pop the hood. Actually, this is as good a time as any. So uh, what we see is um, at 4,044 miles in 2012, the car had kind of some general service stuff. Check exhaust, check struts, check uh, uh, looks like the AC got checked. Um, Oh no, wheel cylinders got checked also. Um, air filter, distributor cap, rotor, oil, and uh, spark plug wires, and lube the chassis. So, looks like just kind of a general preventative maintenance type service done. Do have the original owner's manual here for this car. Let's check out the passenger side front here. Same thing with this chrome, a little bit of blisters right here, okay? <clears throat> Same thing as the other side right here. A little, little paint knocked off right there. That's the only spots. It's interesting. No signs of any paintwork or bodywork that I can see right now. Uh, let's see here. A little kind of age, age stuff, you know, just from a car sitting around. Yeah, whoops, pardon me. Yeah, it looks, looks good. Here's what, so let's start with the back seat here. Uh, here's what's kind of cool. So this car, the yellow, yellow caps here, right? This car got Z-barded at some point in time. And I'll tell you, that usually saves these things. Uh, I'm a fan, I'm a believer for sure. Uh, I don't see any tape lines or anything like that in here. All this looks really, really stand up. What a cool blue interior, too. First thing I do is take that plastic off because this blue interior just looks killer. It looks really, really nice. No signs anything's been apart here. <clears throat> Let's look at the lower doors. Yeah, this all looks like, you know, like, um, this like kind of goop here, kind of like waxy looking goop oozing out of there. That's that, that's the rust proofing stuff, you know? And like I said, I'm a fan, I'm a believer of that stuff. All the carpet looks good. Looks very, very nice. Back seat looks like it's never been sat in. Headliner looks great. A great sound solid super solid yeah I like that great real solid door shutting uh, again uh, more evidence of rust proofing and stuff looks like a original weather stripping it's not it's not cracked or anything like that it's really still very very supple and looks really good car was obviously in a climate controlled area for sure it's funny. I got even the plastic over the. That's cute. <laughs> uh, armrests. I mean, not a, not a single crack on them anywhere. I mean, they really look good. Let's dig in here a little bit. This kind of tells a story in here too. Unrestored. Just kind of original as is. You know, stuff that's never been off the car. You can kind of, you know, you can stuff like this, you can see has never been off the car. Real nice. Rust proofing down in here too. So that's great. Like that. 
you know, I mean, original seat belts, original, you know, these things usually turn to turn to mush. You know, this is all original stuff. Yeah, here's what really, excuse my camera work here, guys, but really nice. Yeah, all this looks great. <clears throat> Dash is in exceptional condition. I mean, exceptional. You know, you it would be really common to see like a crack here or something. This all looks just really great, very nice. Looks like we got a. What, maybe a door handle in here? <clears throat> it doesn't look, one of these got replaced at some point in time. Very tidy, very nice. Let's walk around to the driver's side real quick, then we'll pop the hood. I'll get into the trunk too for you guys. Make sure it's not right here. <clears throat> yeah, it is. Do the hood first. At least you guys know that you're not getting like some edited edited video, right? This is gorilla style. Okay, so uh, under the hood, like this is what you would expect on a four thousand mile car, right? Uh, just really, really honest. Um, just the right amount of crusty, as I would say. And, and if you know, you know, right? If you know these, these have never been off, you know, right? Right? Like you can tell, you can tell that there's not been a wrench put on these. You can tell they've never been turned off, right? The paint didn't get turned off with it. So, very, very nice. Just a little bit of dust and dirt down here. Again, you know, more of the same. I mean, never really been messed with at all in any way. That's what we like. Okay. Let's look at inside the <coughs> driver's area here. Driver's side door. Looks like it had a, some kind of service at 3,400 miles too. And I can't quite read the date when that was. Door panel looks great. Armrest, I mean, perfect. I don't really don't use that word very often, but this is, there are no stories here. This all looks so good. Check out this steering wheel, right? I mean, when would you ever see a steering wheel that doesn't even have a, a stress crack anywhere on it? Like not none of this stuff, nowhere. Nowhere is there a stress crack anywhere on this steering wheel. How how nice is that? Dash looks great. <clears throat> and again, you know, just... I don't know, it's hard to explain. When you know, you know, okay? Let's just assume that this interior is absolutely perfect underneath this. I'm not gonna take this off, okay? But let's assume it's perfect, you know, or or we'll make it right. Or if we get down to talking turkey about the car with somebody, then we'll uh, then we'll um, take it off and let everybody see it. Weather strip looks looks like it's new. I mean, yeah, guys, if I told you this car was five years old, you'd believe me. I mean, how nice is this interior? Armrests, everything looks good. You know, at least we know they weren't a 
they didn't have any backseat smokers. At least we know that. Let's see if we can get into this trunk. <clears throat> Okay. Uh, typical spatter in the trunk. Trunk kit. Yeah, I'm going to say those are the original tires because that looks like the original spare. So, um, looks like trunk mat gets glued down in this car from the factory. Look at all this stuff, though. Still factory marks. Factory marks on the tire. <laughs> Pretty nice. And again, you know, when you know, you know. I mean, when you know that none of this stuff has been off the car, you just, you know. Uh, if, if you're looking at this car, you know, you know what I'm talking about. So... <clears throat> Uh, we'll, we'll take a brief peek underneath this car. Um, there was a question about any leaks and stuff like that. Let's see here. Okay, nobody's moved this car in, gosh, a month or more. And there's nothing on the floor over here, right? Nothing here. Looks like it has a drip pan underneath it, but... The pan is empty, maybe one drip right there you can see, about the size of a silver dollar. Looks like we got a little seeping around the pan back here. And obviously it looks like there might be a little a drip from the plug right there, but gosh I don't see anything else. What a testament to, to rust proofing though. I'm going to turn this camera a little bit and I'm going to face the rear of the car. Excuse me. My finger getting in the way. I'm going to face the rear of the car here. I mean, look at this thing. What a testament to that rust proofing. Let's see if we can get a look at the underside of the trunk for you guys. <clears throat> Back here, driver's side. <clears throat> Yeah, look, this is how they did it, too. It's rust-proofing, just like that. <sighs> Holy cow, look at this. Jeez. What a nice piece. I mean, really, you know. Okay, so I'm inside the lower quarter here, or the, rear, the quarter. And you can see this. I don't want to make anybody sick here, you know. And I apologize. Usually... The videos are like on a lift and stuff, but you know, part of dealing with a, a such a large collector like this is is sometimes you gotta play by the the rules here. <laughs> and you know, the rules are nothing can I leave the building. <clears throat> uh, so, okay, guys, 1970 Pontiac. Executive 400, 4,683 original miles. I got to tell you, I, uh, it plays for sure. All right? Reach out to us if you have any other questions. We'll be sending this video off to the pr prospective buyer. Um, I think he'll like it just as much as I do. Um, and uh, if there's any further questions, reach out to us at collectorcargallery.com.